Hiya, hiya. They are saying that millennials do not use deodorants. 18 to 25 uses uh, no deodorants. 25 to 35, modest amount. So we want to introduce the uh, pain relieving roll on, the one that's a secret, the suave, the real expensive one that's got no uh, acid in it so it doesn't burn your armpits. We got the Sensi Care uh, degree. To what degree do you want to smell or not smell? We got the Gold Bond Body Powder. Hey, this is the one that you use when you really, well, it depends if you have one. And the Dove. Oh, aren't they great with their men's products? And, and oh, the French. They have little deodorizers. And the ones that spray. You could spray a deodorant on you. I'm still down to the uh, basics. I use uh, baking soda and a soap pad. Really does the trick for me, for half a day anyway, during the Florida weather. But in the New York weather, you kind of like uh, have to spray yourself with uh, oven cleaner. That, that pretty much works in the crotch. Speaking of that, they got crotch shots. Corel, the sanitizing wipes, right? And then the ones for the uh, dudes, the dude shower. And you can wipe in the uh, private places. But the one that really kills us all is the ass wipes. Now there you go. <laughs> yeah, they don't, they're, they're not screwing around. See, people are not screwing around in print anymore. They're being more brazen and daring. Like the Disney film, was it a Toy Story 4? Uh, the ad on it is Fork Me Gently. Uh, are we trying to use the F word without offending anybody? Is that what it is? Uh, how about this one here? Sunday, June 30th, 4 o'clock. Proud as F U, whatever the C K is. You know, it's unbelievable how we really have that one word that everybody gets afraid of, you know. <laughs> and we use it. I mean, people use it as a, a noun, as a pronoun. They use it as a uh, adjective. Sometimes it's used as a verb, always. But uh, it's it's absolutely the throwaway word of the of the generation of all generations. And you know what it means? It means uh, for unlawful carnal knowledge, which comes from the English. I think I mentioned that on one of my other early raps. But the fact of the matter is that most people don't use it intellectually. They use it uh, mean and and spirited, or with with much gusto when you want to emphasize something then you put that f-word in there or if you want to lose your job and you're on the air that's when you use the f-word <laughs> that's when you you know that you better hit the national anthem right after that because it's gone it's over <laughs> so that's it i got my display of deodorants gee uh you know and after all this i'll tell you what you guys who are not my age you still stink <laughs> it's a reynolds wrap